I'm with Bruce Quinn from ISIS Product Services Limited. What Bruce and I would like to discuss today with the industry is the importance of clean seed. Uh, clean seed is the cornerstone to a healthy crop and failure to have clean seed will lead to transmission of diseases on farm and yield loss. PL goes through before um, it gets multiplicated and distributed to, to growers. Well, um, first we get um, our um, um, new varieties um, from uh, SRA. Um, when we get them, we hot water treat them. Um, as soon as we get them from SRA, yeah, we get probably 300 sticks of, of a variety. Uh, that's the new varieties, our older varieties. I hot water treat, hot water treated cane each year out of the hot water plot. So that's how, how that goes. We multiply it up, um, up you know, um, a 1 to 10 um, for billets and, and a 1 to 20 for whole stalk. So we build that up and that's uh, how we get it out to the grower. So when we hot water treat the cane that we get from SRA, it's uh, long, um, long hot water treated um, for three hours at 50 degrees. Um, we've got the hot water tanks at, at the mill. Uh, most of our hot water treatment is done in, in the spring. So we are mainly all spring planting. The other way of uh, obtaining clean seed is through tissue culture. So we've got the clean seed, we get it on farm. The important thing to remember it is it's clean seed and needs to remain clean. And there is a tendency to have a practice out there of plough out replant. So you take your clean seed and you plant it into a plough out replant block. So Bruce, what are your thoughts on that? Um, well, that's a big no-no. Um, definitely big no-no. Um, that is how RSD is really spread. If you've had RSD in the block before, you've got volunteers, um, even residue in the soil from old stool, that is a real no-no. You should have um, uh, either a bare fallow or a legume fallow um, for 12 months, then get your clean seed and put it into a nice clean soil, good healthy soil. Um, you know, even with pachymetra and all that, if you go into plout, plout replant blocks, nematodes, you name it. So you're better off, look, plout replant is a real no-no to put clean seed into. Yeah. So Bruce, what about, I mean, for example, you see some of the legume blocks that have got volunteer cane in them. Um, from our point of view in SRA, that's still a no-no because you've got volunteer cane. It still carries the disease. You'll get a mix up with your seed. So in other words, you might have a Pacific variety for a Pacific purpose. Um, you go and plant it where there's volunteer cane, you've automatically mixed your seed. So those are some of the important points. The other thing to consider, you say, well, what is it going to cost me in yield? Consider RSD, that in general terms, and depending on the climatic conditions, you can expect losses somewhere from 10 to 20 percent. Uh, and it can be a lot more than that if you've got, a drought, if you've got drought conditions. Um, Bruce has already pointed out about nematodes. Pachymetra, one thing I want to stress about pachymetra, You'll, the only way to eradicate Pachymetra is to use a resistant variety because the, support, the spores survive in the soil up to five years. But it doesn't mean that you don't have a good legume rotation because a good legume rotation with peanuts will definitely suppress your nematode numbers to a manageable number. And that's what Bruce was talking about. So at the end of the day, Bruce, some take home points for the growers? Um, um, collect your clean seed from your, your plots or your, your tissue culture every year. You should always be getting clean cane every year because you've got to think of two years down the track what you're going to plant. So collect your clean cane every year to build it up onto your farm. Um, put it into fallow ground uh, following your legumes um, and um, make sure that your plants are inspected um, before you plant them again. It's um, one of the biggest uh, things. Yeah. So Bruce has said there, ensure your plants are inspected again, just to ensure you've got clean plants in going into your commercial production. Bruce, thanks very much thank for your time. Thank you, James.